Hey guys, this is Jason here with you guys from Carter Square Bowling. And we are going to break down last night's big win for Washington. Um, they took down Oregon in Husky Stadium 38-3. It was 17-3 after one game, after the first half. Um, Oregon got a 3 nothing lead. Um, but bad news, Washington... Scored at the next 38. Um, really big play in this ball game. You talk about the first quarter. Um, Ogan had a 3 0 lead. We're in inside of the 30 yard line. Might have been at the red zone. And um, Tony Brooks James fumbled at the ball. And um, it set up Washington's first field goal. Um, Ogan played. Like how you expected if Burmeister was going to start. Um, Oregon only manages 31 yards of passing. And as an Oregon fan, yes, you were. You were excited for the hope of Herbert coming back. Um, in really Taggart's press conference, he wasn't even a close playing um, Herbert. Um, and if Boomaster was in, as a Duck fan, uh, you said, please, no 70 points. Um, at least I know I did. Um, Boomaster looked good uh, for drive. But outside of that, Oregon just couldn't move the ball. They, they moved the ball a decent time. At times, they, they had 16 first downs. Um, they did run at the ball for 274, um, 247. I said on Twitter earlier this week that Oregon would outrush Washington. Um, they didn't outrush them. They equally them. Um, Washington also had 247 on the ground. Um, so a push there. You look at the stats per se, that they're pretty much even except the passing stats. Um, Oregon 16 to Washington's 19 first downs. Um, both teams completed a 7 to 30 downs. Um, just Washington at a 2 4. They had more explosion plays. Uh, Dennis Pitty on the Oregon punt returner. Um, he broke the punt return career mark with eight. Um, he got another one against Oregon last night. Um, for um, Washington, you had um, Brownie, 11, 19, 11 out of 19, um, 204, two touchdowns, one pick. Um, so, so day. Um, just a big passes. Um, that's it. Gaston, 7 to carries, 1 to 23. The most, the thing that I'm proud of this Oregon defense, yeah, you, you give up 38 points. You, you can't, couldn't do that if you have a bum out strand. But fourth and the goal in the fourth quarter, and Washington was going to get another touchdown, but fourth and the goal, and Oregon stops Washington. I was so proud of our defense that they just, they did not quit. And you look at it, Washington only got their points in the two quarters. 17 in the second quarter and 21 in the um, third quarter. So Washington pretty much did this going in two quarters. Um... Was Freeman the only bright spot for Oregon's offense? 24 carries, 1 to 22. Um, let's just talk about Oregon's offense right now. With Boomaster, okay? He is developing, okay? I, I do see that. Um, he is getting more confident. I, I wouldn't say more confident, I would say more decisive at times. But there's times that he steps back and he doesn't know what read to make or he's missing the guys wide open, not throwing it to them. Okay, 
when you don't have a quarterback can throw the ball down the field, you you get predictable in the uh, passing the game, okay? You could pass it on every first down. Well, if you get sacked, you're second number 15. And that's what you don't want to be um, as an Oregon, Oregon offense. Uh, so you got to run it every first down. And if that first down run is not successful, you got to run it on second down. You're trying to be in the third and five or sort of. For Burmeister to be successful, if you're not in the third and five, you're going to just go three and out, okay? Um, he did make some good throws and completed, I want to say, seven passes or one out. It wasn't that much. Once again, only 31 yards. Um, he only threw the ball down the field once, and he um, led the wide receiver out of bounds. Um Looking forward to Oregon now. Let's just talk about the rest of the season for Oregon. Um, let's switch the bye week. You get healthy. Okay, Troy Dyer was in a walking boot, but really Tiger said he'll be fine. Um, Justin Herbert for the second week in the row, he was on pass. Okay, um, I think Tiger wanted to keep him out so that he could be well rested for Arizona and Oregon State. Which is, that's, that's two winnable ball games, and you should win in your home field. Okay, we've only lost one game at home, and that was Bill Master's first start. Okay, um, Oregon's 5-5, five and five, very good possibility of 7-5. and five. Okay, very good possibility, and I'm even confident no matter who's starting that quarterback. Okay, yeah, I got done with the Oregon-Washington game, and I turned on USC-Arizona. I wanted to see what Arizona was doing. USC was running the ball down their throats, okay? And if Warner Jones can do it for USC, um, just think about what USC... What Oregon's going to do in it to reach to Arizona, okay? Because Oregon has three quality running backs. Jordan Birch, James, Woods Freeman, and Kenyon Ben Wall, and um, the true freshman Felix. Um, all four guys can run at the ball. I think we should have a big rushing day against Arizona and Oregon State. Um... So it should be a good last two ball games for Oregon, and Oregon should be seven five, and seven five, and you lost your starting quarterback for five weeks. I'll take it. I'll take it. Every Oregon fan should take that. Okay. Um. I I will say this about the coaching staff. Okay. You, you got to jump level on the defense. I think you might have to get another offense coordinator um, on the ball. Just let a Royal go to quarterback coach and let Marty Cristobal work on the offense line. What people don't realize is Oregon's offense coordinator got fired with a DUI. Okay? So, he... Really, Tiger couldn't find an offense coordinator. I think Oregon might have a new offense coordinator um, by 20 by next year. But Oregon loses, goes to five and five by week this week before you go up to Arizona, um, Washington. They're already prepping for next week because um, they go to Party Auto on Friday night. Um, such that I can't watch it because I'm working. Um, got high school football on Friday. But it should be a fun game down at Party Auto. Um, and could. It's pretty much a lemon lace in the game for uh, Stanford. I don't think they could win at the North because they lost last week. But we should see. Um, Oregon, bye week. That means healthy. That means get going. 
Um, you got two games, and you got to win one. Um, more than likely, could it be two and zero in these next two weeks? So Oregon is in in a good spot, and I, I know I hate Washington myself. It sucks losing to these guys, but Washington, enjoy it while you can. So, um, so go Ducks and have a great weekend and go. Dutch, and this has been the Happy Report. Have a great day.